here with Oak Hill coach Devon Marion and Devon, a great, a great big win for you tonight. Yeah. Uh, what does this win mean to the program? First of all, I mean you're, you're trying to build something yeah. here. I don't know if you can build anything it's, bigger than beating the defending state champion. It's huge, man. Like we knew we were going to be the underdogs this week, and uh, we knew we had to play a four quarter game because last week we felt like the first half got away from us. So we wanted to make sure we came out and. Uh, played all four quarters and gave ourselves a chance in the end and that's what our kids done and this win is huge i can't say it's a, the biggest win of our season or the biggest game of our season because each week gets bigger uh, to accomplish the goals that we want to accomplish but it definitely goes up there and uh, i'm just proud of the kids they fought hard and they executed the game plan that we put in this week and Never gave up. That's always my thing. Just give yourself a chance in the end. Never quit. Never settle. And never be happy. Everybody on our team knows it's all about the next play. So I'm just proud of the kids. Talk about Malachi uh, Lewis. Yeah. Uh, it is resolved tonight. I mean, kept battling through uh, cramps through four touchdown passes. I don't know the last time that's happened at Oak Hill, yeah. even if it has, um, because they've been such a running team. Um, just his resolve and 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 will tonight. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check on that as well. I'm gonna check with our AD and our principal and see if that's not a school record. But uh, Monty probably knows basketball. Uh, <laughs> yeah, probably. But uh, he threw seven passes. He was three for seven last week and had a a below par game, below his expectations and standards. And uh, I knew going into this week that he was going to start for us and we was going to ride with him no matter uh, any, the any situation. Any thought at all going to kiss? Yeah. Through for and, last week. and, of course, that's always a thought because Levi's a – he's been a quarterback his whole life. He's never played anything but what quarterback. What made you go with Malachi? Honestly, it's their game plan. They, I knew they were going to blitz six or seven guys mm -hmm. every play and it's usually middle pressure. So we felt like we needed the guy that could get out of the pocket and make plays on the edge, and that's what Malachi did. He ran it a few times, but just impressed with his resolve and willing to throw the ball this week. Uh, we told him last week that he panicked a little bit and like left the pocket a little too soon to stay in there and make throws, and that's what he done. So I'm truly proud of him and the effort he put forth tonight. Uh, you had to make two big stops, I think. After Mikey Spack's touchdown, I'll get to in a second, but yeah. I think you had to make two stops. Uh, just talk about that, but your defense coming out. And, I mean, that's a, not, obviously Lynch Wilder got hurt, didn't help things for them. Right. But they have players who make big plays. Yeah. Talk about your defense. And, that, you know, I hate to see Tyler. I've known his mom pretty much my and whole you life. you got Mount Hope, right? Yeah, Mount Hope <laughs> people. So uh, I'll definitely be sending them a message tonight just to check on him one more time. But injuries are part of football, so it happens. And uh, like your defense, I'm sure, I mean, really. Yeah, I'm sure it took them out of their game plan a little bit, but – you know, I played defense in college, was all American at it, and I uh, put my hang my hat on being a defensive guy. And you know, I call some offense for our team hit and miss, but I tell our kids if they don't score, we can't lose. Even when we're down a few touchdowns, if we can stop them right here, because we put ourselves in a hole again, we can stop them right here, one play at a time in football, and just find a big play, and let's see what happens after one big play. What did you do to take away their big plays? They're a big hit team. Um, Trey Bauer, they got some receivers. Uh, we tried to take away the deep ball. We seen that they had a receiver go for over 200 last week. We tried to take that away by giving our corners a little bit of help. Um, over the middle? Yeah, yeah uh, well, it was a middle safety, but we knew who we were leaning towards. Well. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> you know, putting six, seven guys in the box to try to slow down their run, and like you said, Tyler getting hurt didn't help their game plan any, so, you know, we kept guys in the box and tried to contain Bowers. He's a, that's the first time I got to see him play in person, and he's a freak athlete, just like I thought, and. He did He's a pretty warrior. good job on him. I mean, he uh, he probably had 20 some carry. I mean, he might have been close to 100, but we knew that was a goal. Uh, if we could stop him and slow him down, because we got to give him one. We can't let him throw for 200 and run for 200. How so, big was the touchdown pass to Zacchaeus uh, Lewis with no time left at huge. the end of the half? That's huge because we had we knew we had one timeout and Malachi scrambled and we're like, go down, go down, go down. So he went down with point nine and. Uh, that's actually a play that wasn't in our playbook. Like you drew it up in the dirt. Yeah, that's that's you know I've, since I've been coaching high school football, I feel like that's what it is. Like if you see something that might is that work. Is really not in your book? No, it's we not. A, 
a lot of these plays that you see, we just tell the kids and they could go out there and execute. I've been preaching since I got here. I would rather have a smart football player than the most athletic. And uh, if we can piece no, together. Really, you might, you play, you might, might run some of these there. plays, yeah. Like last week when we ran the quarterback sweep and he raised up and threw it, the quarterback sweep nor the quarterback sweep pass was in our playbook. So that's, just, just, that's, just that's just coaching on the sideline. Guys putting their minds together. So, um, you know, that was a huge play. And it. It took really some momentum would. back for us and got us even at halftime. Um, what about the, the game winner to uh, – I, I think it was uh, one score each after the half. The game winner to Mike Smack. Testimony he, to my coaches. They're, he said he was nervous. He said he was scared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that might be his first varsity touchdown, Second, honestly. He had one yeah. earlier. Okay, so uh, we went to him and, you know, You're we trust him. You don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, we, we trust him. <laughs> and uh, – we got a great receiving coach named Chris Austin. He played at Marshall for a while, and uh, our coach is just putting their minds together and scheming up something real quick, and we knew if we could get the ball on the edge and get away from that middle blitz, we could make a play, and that's what happened. Is that a play you can make because of Malachi Lewis? Yeah, yeah, but a lot of teams – You want to hold the ball there. And a lot of teams run smoke screens, jailbreak screens, things of that nature to get to the edge, and we felt like uh, – that middle pressure was killing us up like right through the middle so we wanted to get to the perimeter and shout out to our linemen because we pulled some out there and they threw key blocks and he was able to get back inside and turn it up give one great get great win hey it's huge it's huge appreciate you